is Thursday, May 26th. We are in the flight path. As usual. I think that's a Japan Airlines 777. Today, Logger is across the way. And someone's on the logs doing some logging. I don't know what else they do. Today, I am just doing some chores around the house. We've got some exciting things sort of happening today, or at least exciting for me. Probably not so exciting for you because today will be mainly about the home maintenance things. And uh, but we'll start off with a little bit of tugboat footage. If you tuned into our Vlogtober when we were moving from Toronto to Vancouver, I had a day where I talked about the four things that I would miss most about my house in Toronto. And one of them was that beautiful stained glass window. It's still there, thankfully. It belongs to the house. The other three things were two chandeliers. I had what I called my firefly chandelier and I also had my mason jar chandelier and then my dishwasher. I really loved my dishwasher with the third rack and when we moved here the dishwasher here has a special feature and I've just run the dishes through for the last time. So we're going to empty the dishwasher household chores and this dishwasher has a special feature. This is the smart dispenser and you should be able to take it off, fill it with liquid detergent and then you don't have to add your detergent on a regular basis because it'll tell you when it's empty. But the problem is the so the, the previous owner showed me how it worked and then when I went to do it I got it off, but then something happened and I wasn't able to actually secure it back on. And my next door neighbor did help me get it secured back on. And ever since we've been using the regular dispenser for soap. But one of the other things about this dishwasher is it doesn't clean all that well. And if I pull my favorite Haunted Mansion mug, you can see inside, even though it's just come out of the dishwasher, there are tea stains and oh, I can scrub them all I want, but several of my mugs and my Rendale design mugs, these ones also have the tea stains. So the point of the dishwasher is to clean your dishes. And if it is not cleaning them, you're going to come in puppy? Come on in. I could hear her whining outside. If it's not cleaning them as well as it did in Toronto, that's a problem. So with the broken dispenser and the fact that it really wasn't cleaning the dishes as nicely as I would have liked, um, we did order a new dishwasher back in November and it is now May 26th. It is finally arriving today. So I'm going to empty this dishwasher and between 12 and two today, they are going to come and install the dishwasher that has the third rack on it, which I absolutely love. So I will empty the dishwasher and wait for the switcheroo. The best part about the new dishwasher, no more cutlery rack. There is a cutlery rack that comes with it, but the last one I had, which is actually, I'm very similar model, but um, we've got actually a bit of an upgrade because it took so long. The great thing about the new dishwasher with that third rack is I just have to stand right here, pull out my cutlery tray, my cutlery drawer, pull out the cutlery tray and it's just a straight transfer over. No more bending down and picking up. Leave that for the dishes. So that's my exciting part. 
A couple of other housekeeping things. Today, I hung up my beautiful cardinal. We've got some coats on the rack, which that's what it's for. But I put the cardinal at the front entrance and I had to do a slight adjustment to the hook because it was leaning one way. I just tightened it up on a bit of an angle and now I've got it pretty straight, but I love it. And it's nice to see from when I sit on the couch and I'm knitting to look over and see those beautiful cardinals. There had been a lot of dishes last night. Isaac made a wonderful supper, but that meant that some of the dishes from yesterday didn't quite get washed last night. So last night I put the dishwasher on before going to bed, but I went to bed really late. And Greg emptied it this morning, I guess forgetting that they were bringing the new dishwasher today and started to fill it back up. And I was a little bit worried because I wasn't sure what the delivery time was going to be. And Greg had put stuff in, so there was a little bit of jam on the door. And there was still lots of dishes. So I took a chance. I loaded the dishwasher and started it. And about 20 minutes later, maybe even 10 minutes later, the dishwasher people called and said they would be coming between 10, uh, sorry, 12 and 2, which was great because I was able to run through the dishwasher with plenty of time, not worrying about having to cancel it because they arrived and the mess that would have created. So took a chance and luckily that worked. So for the next little while, I am going to work on my find your fade for at least a few more minutes. And, or at least maybe a couple rows or two. I have now introduced my sixth color out of seven so I'm getting near the end and I'm winding up using gorgeous rose hip and now this was called sorry it is now renamed crush and these are both hedgehog fibers and I have just introduced this color so my find your fade so far is definitely growing and getting bigger. I'm going to need to wait until Isaac moves to Florida for the summer to block this because I am definitely going to need his bed. And I do not have lockers on these. So I'm going to need to be really careful with my needles. I introduced the red yesterday or late last night and just I've added a couple of rows. I left off on a wrong side row so it's easy just to pick up and then right, uh, do the wrong side row and then make sure I'm alternating. But I am loving how this is turning out and once it is all done, I mean it's already huge and squishy, um, it'll be even better once it's all blocked out and all of the colors added. So just adding in the newly named crush and then I have poison left to add in and then I will be done. I've also printed clue three of the Curious Handmade Mystery Knit Along, the Miss Made Mystery Knit Along, and I filmed a little snippet of clue two. I need to take a few photographs and then I can start knitting on clue three as well. So lots of lovely knitting. This has been my carry around project because even though it is huge, it's a real easy thing to take along with me. Yesterday when I was at the Quilting Guild, I was in the lace section here and I got one full repeat plus an extra row or two done of the lace section. And then I finished off the lace and worked on introducing the new color while I was watching Survivor last night. I talked about the four things that I really loved from my previous home. And one of them was my firefly chandelier, which is actually in my walk-in closet right here. I had taken it out to show one of my neighbors. So it's up on the top shelf of my closet and I can see it there, but I do have that. And I'll show you where I've 
thought about hanging it. This pendant light here hangs from the ceiling and is over top of our kitchen table. And I have thought about switching it out and putting the firefly here. The firefly would look really beautiful here, but I'm a little bit worried about a couple of things. The first thing being that even though there are 10 little lights on the firefly, I'm not sure that it would give as much light as this one that gives a little bit of direction over top of the table. And the other thing is that when things in the house start to swing and inevitably this pendant light here swings when the boats go by and when it's windy out. It's a bit of a worry that some of the little dangly crystals might fall off because when we were in the previous house when the, when the washing machine upstairs would go, sometimes the beautiful crystals would fall off. So one of my neighbors has said he will switch it out for me if I would like. I'm still thinking about it. Um, I definitely love that chandelier and would love to see it here. I think it would be beautiful. There is one other thing that I really loved in my previous home, and that was my mason jar chandelier. And a couple months back, the new owners emailed me and told me that they had taken it down and asked if I would like it back because I had asked them if they ever took it down, if I could have first right of refusal. And they gave it to us. My sister, when she flew in the other day, had this part of the chandelier, so the electrical part, in her suitcase and my parents will be coming out this summer with the trailer and they will be bringing the glass jars and the light bulbs. This house unfortunately is not the most ideal place to hang a 16 jar mason jar chandelier because of course with the waves and things like that. Um, clink, 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 clink all the time, which maybe wouldn't sound so bad, but uh, I'd be afraid of it breaking. Anyway, and, and there's not really, with the high ceilings here, there's not really a great place for it. So I'm going to hold on to it for if we ever buy a different home or whether maybe if the boys buy a home, Something like that. I just, I love them and um, they will be reused someday. I just don't see the chandelier, the mason jar chandelier being used here, but it is nice to have it within arm's reach here because I really did love it at the, at the old house. The new dishwasher has been installed and I am running some of my Rendale Designs mugs through that had some not so nice tea stains in it, so I am hoping that, that this new machine will start to remove some of those. And it is super silent. You can hear it a little bit, but it's not too bad. And then there are just a few things that are left. So the instructions, I was very quick to remove the silverware basket because there's a third rack. And then there's a couple extra little pieces that go with the dishwasher. So there is a water softener and you can put salt in, but the water is very soft in Vancouver, so we probably won't need this. This is for when you've got a tall item and you want to spray it, so you've got to put that aside. And then there are clips to attach on for cups. And then these are extra parts with my glass case. This is going to go in our utility room because sometimes you do need it, but most of the time I do not want to use it. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can connect it to my iPad. The old one you could, but I just read through the instruction manual. This one I'm not sure. Anyway, no handle on the front, which is kind of nice, so you can kind of get right up close. And a nice new dishwasher. Nathaniel is home from school. He's not interested in the dishwasher. He's interested in the food that is on the table. But what do you think? 
Yay. <laughs> Yay, it's about time. Anyway, yes, you may have those with some bruschetta. Anyway, that is the new dishwasher. I did one more home maintenance thing today that has been driving me crazy for quite some time. And you may have noticed it earlier in the video, but that light bulb right there had been burnt out. And today I brought out the platform ladder and Isaac and I changed out that light bulb. So now all three of them are lit up. So it was a good home maintenance day and dishwasher's running right now. You can't hear it, it's great. And it's already on its second load. And I did notice a really big difference in the tea stains coming off of some of the mugs. It needs to be run through a few more times to really get it all off. And I found the same thing with my last dishwasher at the last house, that there had been tea stains on some of the mugs. And as the dishwasher just kept washing them, it cleaned them up really, really nicely. Not sure if it's a detergent thing or just the machine. I don't know what it is, I don't care, as long as my mugs don't look really disgusting. Anyway, that is all the home maintenance for today. I am going to work on clue three of the Miss May MCAL tonight, and I will see you tomorrow. supervising the new dishwasher. She's checking it out for the quiet factor and making sure that everything is running smoothly. Aren't you, Miss Tasha?